Science to be on this channel. Today I wanted to come on to do a review on a new washing machine I just purchased. My older machine, which uh, five, six years gave out on me and it was going to cause more to repair than replace. So what I decided to do was go out and search for a good washer machine. Now I did not want another front load because for me, having a large family, it just did not accommodate my need or it could sustain the 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 watch the watch or the loads that I would do per week because on an average I have five kids, so therefore I'm washing clothes almost every other day. So I did a little research before going out this time to purchase a washing machine, and I came across this new machine called the LG. It is top. It is a top load, and as you can see, it is a flat top. I am loving this flat top. And before I came on air, I said I wanted to at least wash a couple of times to see the quality of the machine to see what it would do for its performance wise now with this machine this tub is a 4.5 cubic feet tub now keep in mind i am a consumer i have not been paid to do this review i am not getting any kit back kits back kickbacks from the company of any sort but as a consumer sometimes we we pay for things and we just don't get what we pay for. So on this channel of positive positivity, I wanted to come on here and honestly share my opinion with you about this product. Now, as I stated, this is what you want to get. We're going to look at comparisons wise. This is a top low flat top compared to this bigger version. And I have crossed out the name. Hopefully you can't see it, but I have did away with the name. I had the washer, which was equal to this size. Can you see how much space I have? Now I'm gonna have to redo my floor and my walls because I have so much space. I have a lot of space and I want to later, and I hope, hopefully soon I can go ahead and buy the dryer because the dryer to the LG machine is a 7.3 cubic feet. That's a lot of clothes you can do at one time and it has so many different features on there. And for those of you who do not like to iron clothes, it even have a steam feature on that dryer. But this right here, whether you're a single person or you have a large family, this is gonna last you for years to come and it's worth the investment. I also would advise, advise you if you can, go ahead and purchase that extended warranty because it is important to still have that to reassure that you not you're not gonna have any problems okay so let's do this before we put that load in I want to give you this information on the model numbers so you can go ahead and research this model uh, washer machine for yourself and it's the WT 1201 C and that is the OG I have the graphite um, stainless steel and it's almost in a grayish black color I advise you also to read over this manual and they also have included a booklet with some awesome coupons in here so if you never tried these products before you can go out and try the products with the machine and it's gonna be it's, just, it's really gonna do a good job but right now I want to show you the load of clothes that I'm gonna wash in here and this is almost like two and a half loads for me on an average machine it would this would take two loads now on this LG I'm gonna only do one load and it still is not enough clothes to put in there so I think I have approximately 15 to 20 pair of jeans I have some shirts some dark color shirts that I'm gonna watch as well in that so let's go over to the machine and get started with the presentation okay as you can see uh, this is the top load of the LG new um, washer machine I just purchased it has a diamond glass on top so you can view it from the outside to see what's actually going on now it has safety locks to this machine which is very unique I think and also it has on here a caution sign because certain things you cannot wash and I understand that such as sneakers um, uh, what else let's see any type of waterproof item you don't want to wash this in your machine you want it to last now opening up the inside of the machine this is how it looks on the inside can you see how large the inside of this look and right back here on the baseboard this is a safety lock so say for instance you have washed clothes this is a safety lock it has two side lashes on each side 
and this bends, it folds in. And the reason being, once you wash your clothes, look how soft that goes down. Once you finish washing your clothes, you want to do it in this method because you want the air to be able to circulate through the machine to fully dry it out without having any mildew smells or any molding of any sort. So we're gonna go ahead and lift that back up. I'm gonna snap it and lock it in place. Make sure you hear the clap sound to lock it back in place. And that was fairly easy. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is the detergent dispenser. It comes with an insert. If you want to use liquid detergent, you're going to place it in here. But first, this is how it, this is how it originally comes, just like that. So if you use liquid, you're going to place it in here. But if you're one like myself that use the powder, you're going to take this whole insert out place it to the side and you're going to pour your detergent directly into the base of this compartment so the first thing I want to do is do that I have taken my cup up I don't I don't normally keep the cup that comes in the detergent thing I just use an old cup that I keep here and I want to do on average that's about a cup we're going to close that compartment up now close we're going to start adding the clothes inside of the washing machine and I'm not going to do any form or fashion, no special way. But you want to make sure before using your machine that you don't have anything in the pockets. That's the first pair of jeans. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine, ten, and then I have a pair of dark colored shorts I'm going to put in, so that's eleven. And then I have some dark colored shirts which we're going to mix together because they're all dark clothes and they're going to come out great. So that's eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 of another pair of pants, 17, 18, pair of cargo, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, whoa, 28, 29, 30, 31, okay, that's 34 items, and I did not put these items in here any kind of special way I just placed them in and as you can see I still have room in this basket it may not look like it but I do so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close the lid and when you get to a certain point it gently closes by itself look at this isn't that wonderful we're gonna come over to the power button we're gonna touch power and here are the different functions that it has on the LG and and it's very simple to use it's not complicated at all you want to choose the cycle you want you have cotton heavy duty bright and white buckly bedding so if you have a comforter or something you want to wash you can do that in here you have your speed wash your pure color delicate and then once a month i advise you to do the tub cleaning it would actually clean itself okay if you're having technical problems with your machine you will call LG and before coming out, they're going to send a technician out to see what's going on. But before they get here, they're going to know exactly what's going on with your machine. If you have an Android phone or smartphone, you can place it right here where it said the smart diagnosis symbol is. And they can determine what is going on before coming out. Isn't that great? So the next thing, as we said, these are the different cycles, which you have eight different cycles to choose from. So since I have colored clothes, I'm gonna to touch my my cycle button. We're not gonna do cotton, not heavy duty, no brightness, no bulkiness, no speed. Here we go, we're gonna do the pure color because we have a lot of color clothes. Okay, since I'm not gonna use any of the features from the special, special use, we're gonna go back to the cycle which I want to use, which was the pure color, we're gonna do that. The next feature you have on this machine is a delay wash. 
So if you were going somewhere and you did not want your machine to start for two hours later or an hour later, this is what this delay watch is for. So I can delay it for one hour, two hours, three, four. Isn't that something? This will go all the way up to you can delay a watch up to 19 hours. I've never seen one do this. This is wonderful. So if you was going out of town and you didn't want to start for um, eight hours later, that's when it's, you set this portion and it will actually start at the time that you want it to start. The next thing is you have a extra rinse button. So after it finished washing with your cycle that you have chosen or the cycle you chose, after it have finished washing with the cycle you have chosen, you can also come over here to the extra rinse and it will rinse, do an extra rinse for one hour and 17 minutes. I don't want to use this feature. We're going to keep going. The next one is a cold only wash. So if you have very delicate type clothing, you can use this cold wash only button. The next thing we want to go and focus on, that is the temperature of the water. Now with the presetting of different type of clothing or loads you're going to wash, it comes already with those presetting of water temperature. But you are able to change the temperature setting. Now on the setting for pure, uh, the pure color, it has tap water with a normal soil level. I want my water, my water temperature to be warm. Although it's color closed and these are not going to really fade and it's not going to uh, discolor, discolorate the clothes, I'm going to use the warm wash for the temperature of the water. Okay, for the soil level, if you wanted to change that dial, you can. This is the button to touch. It's called the soil level, and it has a light, normal, or heavy. I'm going to keep it on normal because the clothing are okay. The last button that we have on this machine, on this top low, is the spin, the spin speed. And you can have no spin at all. You can have the low or the medium. I think I want to go with the presetting of the medium, so we're going to keep it there. Now, one thing I forgot to mention on the inside of the machine, we're going to jump back in right quick. Very simple. I wanted to show you this. For those of you who would like to use bleach, over here to the left is a compartment for your bleach. You pour it in here. And for those who like to use fabric softener, in the back of the separate compartment over here offside of the detergent you're gonna pour your fabric fabric softener in here now right here you have a jet and that's gonna as your clothes are spinning around it's gonna um, jet clean your clothes as well with this now how this tub is designed it does not have an agitator but you're going to be amazed at how it cleans the clothes. We're going to close that down once again. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to start. But before we start, what's going to happen is I have placed these clothes inside of this washing machine. This clothes has a sensitizer or a sensor to it. And the first thing it's going to do when we start the button, let's go ahead and touch the button start. It automatically locks it. Now, we're going to take a look on the inside. The first thing it says, the cold, the glow is sensitizing. It's in meaning that the sensor is is going to determine how much clothing we have in the machine. So right now it's doing that. Okay, the clothes have not started to wash, but it's sensitizing the clothes to determine to determine how much clothing is inside of the machine. And it's going to spin. It's going to stop. It's going to do it again. Noise wise, it's not, it's very minimum. You don't really hear any noise to this machine. The vibration, the true vibration that it has, the anti vibration, it is wonderful. It does work. I'm going to look at that spin for a second.
And now it's going to begin the process of adding the detergent while it's spinning. So now since the washer has sensitized or determined how much of a load that is that's inside the machine, what it's doing now is um, applying the detergent at a, at a balance by adding the water to it as well. So it's spinning, adding the detergent and the water. And it's going to pretty much begin the wash cycle. Now it does not use a lot of water and that's another thing. So opposed to me doing 10 loads of clothes, I may do three and a half bowls of clothes. So that would save me on my water bill as well as the number of wash that I have to do per week. When the last spin cycle, we have two minutes, it's stopping and it's going to beep for us. Now the wash is complete. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Let's take a look inside right quick. Do you see how compact or how it cleaned everything in the spin cycle is so tight this garment is almost dry it is almost dry so i'm going to place this in my dryer but i really want to get the dryer to go with this set so it did a wonderful job i think look everything is almost dry dry to touch not a whole lot of water and look how low it is to the basket I'm gonna go ahead and place that in my dryer so I hope you have enjoyed the time we'll share together in reviewing this new LG revolutionary top low 4.5 ultra capacity top loading washing machine you're gonna love this what I'm gonna do is list some information down below about the washing machine but this was purchased at HH Craig and right now they have a special going on a special buy on appliances and they're giving a good discount on it and not only that but the shipping is $79.99 which they will bring it to your house install it and remove your older machine if needed now there's a rebate on the delivery charge of $79.99. You have two options. The first option is you can receive the $79.99 back in the form of a Visa card or you can opt out to select to receive a $100 gift card to be used at HH Greg. And if you are a HH Greg credit card holder, you also will receive a 5% discount. You can't beat that. So we're talking about right now in the state of Georgia is $809.99. And then you're going to receive an additional an additional 5% off if you hold a HH credit card. And also, if you're a Georgia Power customer, they're giving you $50 just for upgrading to an HE, which is was which is an high which is a high efficiency washer you I'm gonna go back myself I really want the dryer I'm gonna work at trying to get the dryer because this washing machine I am loving it and I wanted to pass this on to you because I know how it is to purchase a product and it does not deliver this is going to go way beyond that whether you have a large family or you're a single person this is going to last you for years to come so check this out and I wanted you to see this because a lot of times when we go into buy washers and dryers they don't have it they have the machine on display but we don't actually get a chance to see the functionality of the machine and I wanted you to see that so go ahead check this out this is an excellent investment I'm going to go ahead and leave some information down below in reference to this machine all the details about the machine and what I want you to do if you do go uh, go out to buy the machine please leave some comments down below I want you to start sharing your honest comments down below because that's the only way I can grow that's the only way we can get this information out and shared among each other and 
delivering positivity for his information is concerned as a consumer. So please start leaving your comments down below. I'm going to give you all the details that you need. So I'm going to make it very simple for you. And then you go to your local appliance store and you check this out. If you're in the market for purchasing a new appliances, if you can afford to get both the washer and the dryer, I would recommend that because that dryer is a 7.3 cubic feet. So it's going to be able to accommodate the load in which you place in here to go into that dryer. And if you want, like my kids, they're very lazy. They don't like iron clothes. Their kids just don't iron clothes. They have a steam drying function on this dryer. So it's, it's worth the money. So with that in mind, I hope you have enjoyed the time that we've shared together. Until the next review, be blessed.